This is the first and only mini lecture for section 5.3 in the textbook. So now we're going to talk about multiplication and division of integers. And uh, the textbook has quite a bit more than I'm going to talk about. Frankly, I find some of their illustrations a bit confusing, so I'm going to skip that. I'm just going to do what I think really makes sense to students. Um, so th let's begin with multiplication. Recall that when we define multiplication, uh, we define it as repeated addition. So for example, 3 times 4 is 3 fours. Right? 4 plus 4 plus 4, which is 12. Well, nothing prevents us from doing the same thing with something like 3 times negative 4. That's just 3 negative 4s. Negative 4 plus negative 4 plus negative 4 is negative 12. Okay, well, products like negative 3 times something is, are, are less easy to describe like this. Um, but, you know, we want to retain things like the commutative property and the distributive property. And in order to ensure that that happens, we're going to need negative 3 times 4 to be negative 12 and negative 3 times negative 4 to be positive 12. Okay, that just makes sense. Uh, the book has other explanations of this, which I'll let you look up on your own if you like. Um, they're a bit confusing to me, which is why I avoid talking about them here. Okay, so you know, we have our then our basic definition. Positive times negative is negative. Negative times negative is positive. Okay, the absolute value of the product is the product of the absolute values. Okay, we have um, properties of multiplication, which are in inherited from the properties for whole numbers. So if you'll go back in the textbook to, to section 2.4 and look at the properties of whole number multiplication there, you'll find that these are exactly the same. There's nothing new. So let's do a, a couple illustrations with colored counters. For example, um, or one illustration rather, um, 4 times negative 5. Okay, 4 times negative 5 is 4 negative 5s. So I just need 4 groups of white counters. Okay, there's 1 negative 5. <coughs> Here's a second. Here's a third. Here's a fourth. There's, um, sorry. I should have stopped with the fourth, of course. So you have four negative fives. Negative five, negative five, negative five, negative five. Add those up. That is negative 20. Okay, we can do something similar to the number line. Let's try three times negative four. Okay, 3 times negative 4 is 3 negative 4s. And I just numbered that completely wrong, sorry.
Okay, so we have three negative fours, so negative four, negative four, negative four, which gets us to negative twelve. Okay, representing something like negative three times positive four is trickier. I'll, I'll let you read about that in the book because it is in one or two problems, but I don't really want to emphasize it because I think yeah, th these types of products are the ones that are helpful to represent. Okay, that being said, um, I, I do think that male time stories work really well with multiplication of integers, all types of multiplication. And I'll let you read about that in the text. Okay, well, of course we'll work some of those problems in class. Okay, now, just as for whole numbers, division of integers is defined as a fill-in-the-blank multiplication problem. If a and b are integers, then their quotient, a divided by b, if it exists, is the unique integer c, so that a is equal to b times c. So asking what is a divided by b is the same as asking b times what is equal to a. So for example, um, you know, what is negative 8 divided by 2? Well, we're asking 2 times what would be negative 8. And of course, that's negative 4. And, you know, so on and so forth. So here's the basic rules for multiplication, or rather for division of integers. And they, they come straight from the fact that division is a fill-in-the-blank multiplication problem. Okay, so here's the exercises. Um, you know, focus on the type of exercises I mentioned. You know, the colored counters, the number line. Also, the, um, the mail time stories. The, the slide didn't make it in here, so I'll need to insert that at some point. But, you know, it's, it's pretty easy to understand with those. So, you know, use the book as a model, and we'll talk about it in class.